Okay, everyone, I am back. We're work working on the album. Um, apologize for the little break I had to take. So if you're watching the replay, go ahead and fast forward a little bit. I'm going to wait for some folks to join and finish up these base pages that I thought I would have done. <laughs> Hey, Lauren, yay, we're back. I didn't finish them, but I did um, cut the angles and scored them. I just, or uh, burnished them. I just need to quickly go through and finish them. I thought I would have them done before I got back on. My son just called me, so I was busy chit chatting with him. His birthday was yesterday. Hey, Sandra. Good morning, Walt. Well, good afternoon here. <laughs> See, welcome back. Okay, I'm just finishing these up real super quick here. Um, so give me a moment to do that. And then we're going to move into um, interactions, which will be fun. And again, I'm just uh, designing this on the fly. <laughs> hey, Sandra, I know. Um, he's doing great. His birthday was yesterday. He's doing really good. Thank you. The prayers definitely worked. He's feeling great. He just, I just got the phone with him. He's having a really good day. Yeah, Lauren, he's doing really good. It was Zach's birthday yesterday, not Nicholas's. My son, Nicholas, is getting married October 19th and his birthday is October 18th. <laughs> I said, you'll never forget your wedding anniversary. That's kind of smart. <laughs> so we're getting prepared for all that. That's a big dealio coming up in our family. Hey, Linda. Just finishing, for those of you that were on my live a little bit earlier, we're working on a six and three quarter. Well, the pages will be six and a quarter by six and a quarter. The mats will be six by six. Little simple mini album. Hey, living life. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on. We did the base page, like I went over the measurements for the chipboard cover, except for the spine. I still need to do the spine. And the base pages on my, I just had a live about an hour or so ago. So, um, yes, Lauren, they are. So, yeah, so now we're going to move on to the fun part, which is interactions. And there's so much fun, you know, because you're, you, the creativity, it's, the possibilities are endless, you know. Oh, thanks, Lauren. Okay. All right, last one. Get this done really quick, quick, quicky, quicky. So, as you can see, the base pages are very simple to make it. If you missed the first part, it's on the towards the end of the last live. If you want to catch that, and we're doing five, and they're all done. Yippee, yippee, yippee. So, that's good. Is that heavy paper? Yeah, I like to use um, at least 80. But I do prefer, it's either, what is it, 100 or 110 pound? I prefer that for the base pages. Um, it's, but, 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 by the time you mat both sides, do some interactions, which also have matting, it's pretty heavy duty, even if you were to use 65 pounds. So it's okay either way, you know? Um, all right. So I had said, you know, you want to save all of these. Um, I'm going to organize them by size, but all these scraps when we cut the pa the papers to make the base pages, um, because they're perfect to make interact. You know, to use up these scraps to make little interactions. Okay, so I'm just kind of separating the different sizes out that we, you know, from cutting, so that we can have an idea of what we want to do here. Okay. And again, I'm just designing as I go. So it's, uh, you know, <laughs> it's just going to be that way, which that's usually what I do. I try to 
if I know I'm going to do a tutorial, like a separate video tutorial, I, I do try to write it all down and, you know, have it all prepared and all that. But this is just more on the fly, which can be fun. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. The layers definitely helps even with like a tag or anything, you know? So yeah. Yep. 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 All right. So we've got, these are, let's look at the size. These are eight and a half, eight and a half. Yeah. By da, 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 four and three quarters. Okay. So it's perfect to make a flap like that. Okay. So the, this first page, I'm going to do a downward flap and an upward flap. Okay. That'll be simple enough. Let's do that. I need to get my paper trim around again. And I'm going to use. Where's my little scoreboard? Because that'll work perfect. Oh, it's right here. Oh, God. I almost knocked my freaking drink over soda over that. I've been terrible. Okay. So remember, this is six and a quarter by six and a quarter, which makes the math really easy for us. So all, I don't care about the height because I know it's going to be a good height. You know, I'm not worried about that. So I'm going to cut two of these that were left over at um, six and a quarter, the length. Okay. So, oh, great. Hold on. This isn't long enough, is it? Uh, let me see. What did I measure this at? Eight and a half. Oops. Yeah, eight and a half. And I need to go down to six and a quarter. So that's one, two and a quarter inches that I'm cutting off. It's just going to be easier for me that way. <laughs> two and one quarter inch is what we're cutting off. Let's just make sure that worked out right. Yep, it did. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So cutting off. So this way I have six and a quarter is the width. Okay. All right. So all we do here is we take these two pieces that we did. It's my base page. And put them with the um, four, whatever it was, four and three quarter side at the top, the shorter side at the top. And score at one half inch on one side. That's all you have to do on this. Hey, Creative Mommy, how's it going? Oh, I know. I need a schedule. <laughs> I know. I need to get better at that. Ooh, I didn't do I have them upside down. Oops. It's okay. We'll make it work. All right. And then all we're going to do here is we're going to burnish or, you know, fold and then burnish. One thing I wanted to mention, and I noticed this when I was doing my um, base pages, and you guys, I don't know if you know this or not, you may, but when you have, when you score, you know you have like, let's see if I can show this better. Okay, this is the mountain where it bumps out, and then the other side is a valley where it goes in. Do you see that? The way you want to fold this, if you can, if it works out, is you want to fold over the mountain and turn it into a valley. And the reason why is because of the fibers in the paper, it makes it stay strong. If you do it the other way, it weakens those fibers. So I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Um, you probably did, but just in case somebody didn't. So here are our two flaps. One will go there and one will go on top, right? Now you can, and so it'll open, open, pretty easy peasy, right? Now you can really dress this up a little bit more and you could do round the corners or you could do a simple, there's one of my favorite punches. Give me a second to pull it, but, and just do like a, um, uh, what does that call a border punch? Like on the edge, you know, I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, because, um, and, and believe me, there's times I folded it the wrong way. It's not that big of a deal. But if you can remember, it is nicer to do it that way because it really is true with those fibers inside the paper. So, yeah, it helps with that for sure. All right, let me find my um, my punch. Ooh, I like this one, and there's another one I really, really like. Where's that? Where's that? Uh, I'm over in my punch bucket. I need a better way to organize my punches for sure. I might have any. Okay, I'll use this one. So it's EK Success, and it's like a tiny little, see, it's like a little scallop. You guys see that? So we'll use this one today. 
So, and again, I think just a simple, you could also use a die that does the border if you want, you know, but I think just a little simple border just adds a lot to it. You know what I mean? Just dresses it up, those edges, and makes it cute, in my opinion. If I'm not watching the comments all the time, I apologize because I have to kind of look down here. Hey, Joan, how's it going? Thanks for joining. We're, we're putting together a little mini album today. So let me just, and it, you know, you just take this punch and it literally just takes a minute, right? And you've got such a cute, a cute little border. If you don't have punches, you know, you could even get those scissors that aren't very expensive that will give you that. Or like I said, just round the corners or something and it adds so much to it, right? To break it up from the straight uh, edges that you have on your base page. Okay, so there's that and now let's attach. And again, you can attach with whatever adhesive you prefer. I am going to use wet glue. It gives me some wiggle room. Um, but I used to always make these with um, double-sided tape. You could do whatever works for you. Now, make sure you're not doing it on the side that's open. You're doing it on the, well, you could, and they would open left and right. But either way, I guess, is fine. Um, but for me, I'm going to do up and down. So while you're designing interactions, that is one thing you have to kind of think about is depending on how you want your interaction, do you want it to be top and bottom, which are the closed sides of the um, base page, or do you want it to go on the sides, which would be the open sides? Because remember, this will go on a hinge, okay? So just something to think about as you're moving along, you know, with designing it. Um, and then the other thing to kind of think about, although you can think about it a little bit later, is your closures, okay? Um, that the, the time you want to think about that is when you're matting your paper. Do I put the closure on before I mat, such as with a magnet, or do I put it on after I mat, such as Velcro or something, you know? So you, you kind of have to plan that piece out, and I've messed that up, believe me, many times. but. So you can always come up with a workaround if you have to. But anyway, yeah, so there's that. Now, I am going to use a magnet closure. Let me grab those really super quick. I'm telling you what. Good God, Mary Beth. Get it together. What I use the score tape for in my mini albums the most is making my um, cover. And I'll show you that in a little bit. We can go through that. Um, I just had my magnets out yesterday. Um, yeah. What did I do with those? Oh, dropping stuff. It's ridiculous. Let me get my tape runner out. Got my Velcro. Don't need that. <laughs> I got to get this trim out of the way. This is my tassel. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to, I should have done this before I went live. Should have pulled these magnets. I have them in. I have this little container over here where I keep things that I like to use quite often. And I literally just had these out yesterday. Oh, here they are. I knew I had them out. <laughs> okay. So, um, oh, and I also use the double sided tape to do my magnets. So, for the cover and for the magnets. That's what I use it for. But again, you can use it when you do your interactions or whatever. Hey, Barbara. They sell one. They sell that one at Tuesday morning. Is Are you talking about the um, scissor thingy? Look it. I, you, if you've been around for a while with me, I, I save these. They're very, very, very good to use as a base for a tag. They're pretty sturdy, almost like, you know, a little chipboard. So I do keep these so I can use them to make tags. Um, this would be kind of cool. So I have another one, but you could do kind of a cool shaker in this ring or something. So sometimes I keep things like this, but this one I'm not going to just because I have, I already have some of those. So, all right. So let's, um, let's do a magnet. 
Now, do I want it to be where this one opens first or do I want it to be where the top opens first? That's your first thing. And I'm gonna do the top first. So here's how I lay my magnets. I'm gonna pull, actually, I'm gonna pull my tape off first. Let me do that. I gotta get this one going. Get it going. Oh, now it's stuck to me. Okay, so tape. Oh, I lost the, oh, here it is. <laughs> All right, so I take two pieces of tape, you know, just kind of estimate. Now, everybody probably does this a little differently. This is just how I do it. And then I buy these um, magnets on Amazon. They are listed in my Amazon links below. It doesn't cost you any extra because it's my link, but it does help me out a little bit. But anyway, they're super strong. They're super thin. And um, uh, yeah, they work well. They're, they're, they're tiny in diameter. And they're, I'll pull one off. And they're, you can barely see it. Hold on. There you go. And they're super thin. So, or yeah, small and thin. All right. So what I do is I lay the magnet down right here. You know, I don't want to be too close to this border. Okay. Because, hi, Janet, when you mat your paper, you know, you're going to mat a little bit lower. And if you put this magnet up real close, you're going to, it's going to mess up your matting. Um, and it's going to show and it's going to cause you issues. So go down further because you have plenty of room for this magnet to attach on this side. So go down a little bit where it will not screw up your matting, which I have done many times. That's why I'm pointing these things out because yeah, <laughs> I've had to learn the hard way. Hey, Jenny. Oh, dishes are more important, you know. <laughs> Okay, and then what I do, here's my next step. I lay this second piece of tape with the slick side, don't undo it, the slick side down and the sticky side up. I hold onto it like that. Look at, I dro drop the magnet and it lands where it needs to land, right? And then you, you just kind of get your fingers from being unstuck, see? Make sure it's straight. And then boom, voila. There we go. And then it's connected. And now you have your closure, right? So it opens up, it opens this way. This is your base page. Now, why don't we add a little pocket here? Okay, so, oh, thanks, Janet, yeah. So again, we're using, remember, scraps from when we made our base pages. This is why I said save them, because you can use them all up in your interactions. So again, I'm going to cut it at six and a quarter first, which I need to take two and one quarter off to do that, because I've already measured this out to get six and a quarter, just because my trimmer, this is a smaller trimmer. Okay. And then what you want to do, you're definitely going to, oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. See, save the space. Back it on up. <laughs> We're gonna cut it an inch uh, wider, so seven and a quarter, okay? So I only take off one and a quarter. Sorry about that. So you wanna cut it at seven and a quarter. And the reason why is because we're gonna score half inch on the left, half inch on the right, and a half inch on the bottom. Now, what you wanna decide, and I estimate a lot, is how tall do I want this pocket? I don't want it up that high. Um, I usually, I really like a three, three inch pocket. So I cut it at three and a half because I have to score half inch below. So that's kind of what I prefer. Even, um, you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It, you know what I mean? You can do whatever size pocket you would prefer. And then this is so easy peasy. Um, is I just score a half inch on three sides. So both the both of the shorter sides, see, you want a half inch and then one on the long side. Now, some people only score a quarter inch and that's perfectly fine. I just prefer half inch. It just seems to work better for me. Oh, I know this one. No, this one looks is a little darker, but it's not really that much darker, but on camera, it's like, what is happening? <laughs> you 
Yes, I'm going to be dark like you. <laughs> you should see my future daughter-in-law. She's always tan anyways, but um, she was just in Cabo for her bachelorette party. Oh, my God. The girl is so tan right now. All right. So, um, your magnets were too thick. I was just saying, I don't know if you heard me. My Amazon link, um, always on my um, videos, Jenny, I want to say it's like $10 for 100 of them or something like that. I don't remember. But. They're super strong, super thin, and super small in diameter. They're perfect. I use them all the time. So, you you know, if you have Prime or whatever, let me know if you don't have Prime because I can order them and get them shipped to your house in like a day, literally. So, um, for free because I don't pay for shipping. So, yeah, but they're awesome. All right. So, I want to point this out. I should have used a different color card stock because it's kind of hard to see. But um, do you see where we the score lines meet up and you have that little box? down there. I'm going to cut that box out, but I'm going to cut it at an angle. Boop. Boop. So it looks like that. And I, it just, um, lessens the bulk, right? When you're putting your little pocket together. And then I also angle, um, each end at the top on the top ones. So the whole thing to give you an idea, just looks like that. Okay. So now, again, I'm just going to use glue because um, I, I just like my wet glue. So what I'm going to do first before I lay it down on the base page. Hey, Nina. Um, hey, Purple Paisley Planner. I hope I haven't missed anybody. Oh, thank you. Um, so I put a little dollop, you know, small right there and small right here at the very bottom of the side flaps and I fold the bottom flap up so that those two corners get glued together. Does that make sense? Um, and I just want to hold it a minute so that it, it dries. Thanks. Thanks, Janet. I do appreciate that. Um, and then for me, cause I'm clumsy, <laughs> it's easier when I want to put it here. Cause now I can just roll the glue on three edges and I'll, I don't have to fumble around with those you know, pieces connecting. I don't even know if that makes sense, but this is how I do it because it just seems to be easier. And then I just line my pocket up. Be careful. Remember you have like your score line. Don't cover that. You want to only stay on the base page. Okay. And just do your best. Line it up. Use your fist. <laughs> and then I just, uh, yeah, there you go. We got a cute little pocket. And we have our, um, you might want to burnish this again just because we added that pocket to smooth it down. And we have our magnet. And there you go. Side, oh, I really should have used different colors. Side one of the first base page is done. And very easy. Flap up, flat down pocket. You know, sometimes I think simple is, is nice. You know, I've made a lot of simple mini albums, but I've made some pretty um, intense interactive ones as well. And they're both beautiful. It's just, you know. Oh, thanks, Janet. Okay, here's another tip. And again, this is just how I do things. Everyone kind of has their style and all styles are beautiful. But I have my base page, the first side. So when you open up the cover, the inside cover will be here. The front of the base page will be here. When you turn this over, this is the first page, the second side. This is the second page first side. I like to kind of match my spreads a little bit. That's just me. Okay. So for example, I'll do a simple thing. Let me show you. Um, let me move these out of the way for just a minute. Uh, yeah, that'll work. This piece of paper, I don't even know the size of it. It doesn't matter that much. Um, I'll tell you though. Six and a quarter by four and three quarters, okay? What I'm going to do with this is I am going to put it on my trimmer. It doesn't matter that it's a rectangle. That is totally um, cool, okay? I need to try. Yes! Oh, Janet, your album would be freaking unbelievable. <laughs> yes, Linda. Yes, everybody tried. So fun. Oh, I cannot believe you never. 
Now, you're really good at, at TNs, though, Janet. I know you have some videos. I need to watch those that were older, like before I was really on, you know, big on YouTube and stuff. No, don't be scared, girl. Not with your credit. <laughs> You'll do fine. All right. So anyways, see how it's a rectangle? I just want to take diagonal corners, see, and line them up in my trimmer where it's going to cut and cut this in half like that on a diagonal. Does that make sense? Now, this sometimes can be slightly tricky. You just have to do your best, you know, to line it up. Now, you'll see I have two of them, right? Two triangles. And they're not perfect triangles, and I'm okay with that. I'm going to show you why. What we're going to do, so this is the other side of page one, the first side of page two. I'm going to do two triangular pockets, okay? Do you see? And it's going to be a spread when I embellish and mat it that's going to kind of match. That's what I prefer. But again, you can do like whatever you want. I just like sometimes to be matchy, matchy, you know, which, you know, whatever. I mean, everybody has their own taste. So how you make a triangle pocket is you have your triangle, you know, you had your square or rectangle, you cut it on the diagonal. Okay. And then what you do is you line it up in your scoreboard like this, see, so you have this, this side right here is going to go up and this side is going to be the one that goes across on your page. Okay. So I'm going to score a half inch here and then I'm going to turn it and score a half inch right there. Okay. Now I know it's hard because, you know, you got to start up here and there's no paper, but all you do is you put your thing, your little bone folder or whatever in the groove and just find it and go down and you're good. And then I'm just going to rotate it like that and do the same thing with this longer side like that. Um, and I'm going to do the other one just super quick just so uh, we can fold them at the same time and stuff. So one second here. So down like that, rotate 90 degrees, get your long one going that way and bada bing bada boom all right i know thanks um let's see nita my phone number sorry i got to go but oh thank you nita no worries oh of course go take care of your baby um hi marlena how are you okay Yes, Nita, actually, I heard your son had surgery, honey. I'll be praying for his recovery. I did hear about that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so here's our score lines. Remember, there's only two because it's a triangle. It only has three sides, and we want one side to be open for a pocket. So you score them like that. Here's what you do to get them prepared to put down. You will have a, a square again down here because these lines, the score lines, will intersect. You're going to cut that box out. And again, I cut the box out at an angle, bada bing, bada boom. So it looks like that. Okay. Now notice these pieces are hanging out and you don't want them to on your pocket. So what you do is you go on the inside and you're going to cut at an angle pretty deep because you want that when you fold it to not show. See? So that's how you do that. So you're still just cutting at an angle, maybe just slightly deeper on this one to make sure that those little pieces don't show. Okay, let me do this one real quick and then we'll glue them in. I'll show you how I do that. Yeah, okay, okay, Jenny. And yes, Janet, yeah. I think you get like a hundred for real <laughs> in a, in a package. So it's, it's a great deal. And I'm telling you what, I got to tell you too, that when I first a long time ago started making mini albums, which were my first thing I ever made with paper crafting. Hey, Deborah. Um, uh, I tried <laughs> so many different kinds of magnets. Like I went to Walmart. I mean, I had a really hard time finding any, and then once I found these, I'm telling you what, I, believe me, I've done the research. They're good. They're the best ones that I have found, especially for the price. All right. So to glue this, 
all you have to do is fold over at the corner at the bottom, fold this over and put a little dollop of glue and fold this over. That's it for the gluing. It's really quick. Oh, and like I mentioned with the border punch, you could have done that. I forgot, but you could have done that um, on top. I might be able to still do it. And again, that just gives it a nice look, but you don't have to. And see, it's going to go, oops, this one's going to go on this side and the other one's going to go on the other one. So let me do this one really quick. But do you see how quick this thing can come together, really? Um, cause we're, we're doing five pages, but really it is 10 pages cause each side, you know, you do. Um, and then when you make the cover, the inside covers, you could do interactions or not or whatever, you know, sissy calculate. No, you guys, it's 10 bucks. Don't worry about it <laughs> for real. It's not that big of a deal. All right. So here we go. Um, now make sure, <laughs> make sure you have this side um upright okay how it's supposed to be and flip it over and then we're going to glue this right here let's look at my um my border punch i think i don't want to mess it up but if i do who cares i can make another one but i kind of think i can still do it even though i folded those in yeah i can so let's border punch it to match that first page i love this little border punch Isn't that cute? Boop, boop. See, and so it just adds a little bit of, you know, extra, extra. So I think that'll look really cute. So let's do it to the other one too. It's probably preferable to do it before you fold up the edges, but that's okay. It'll still work. It'll, you can still make it work if you forget, like me. Boom, boom, let's go, boom. There we go. And then this side. Oh, I know, isn't it cute? I love this, but EK Success is my favorite brand of punches. I just think they're, they work well for me where I've had struggles with some other ones, unless it's like a circle or a simple shape. But if it's like border punches, like Fiskars, I've had some really bad luck with them. I don't know why. I don't know. Oh, Janet. <laughs> okay. So let me just finish this up real quick and then we'll we'll attach it. Bada bing, bada bing. There we go. There we go. Oh, I did it the wrong way. You know what? We're going with it because it just gives it character. Do you see I was supposed to fold this one in this way to be the long side to match? Who cares? We're going to have character. This one's going up and this one's going that way. I still think it'll be cute. It wasn't my original plan, but things change when you create, right? It's all okay. All okay. So you just glue those two sides that you folded in. Yeah, Fiskars. I've had I've had a hard time. I love Fiskars. Don't get me wrong. There's lots of tools and stuff that I like, but I don't know what it is. Maybe I've just gotten the wrong kind. I can. Oh, you're right. I could. I could undo it. You're right, Janet. Like undo. Oh, let's see if this works. Where's my little? You're right, Janet. I didn't see. See? You're so good. All right, let's refold the other way. Like Janet brought up such a good point. You can fix it. You can fix your mistakes. And then let's glue it this way. Oh my God. Thank you. Let me hold that down for a minute. <laughs> I know what? Really? <laughs> Bertha from Detroit, girl. How are you? How's Detroit today? If I've missed hi to anybody, I really am sorry. I hope I got everybody. Chrissy, I got you. You see more eyes. Exactly, Jenny, right? More people to help me because 
Lord knows I need it. All right, let me, there's just a little, little piece piece that got stuck here. So we'll just trim that up slightly. There we go. Oh, Janet, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh my goodness. Because that's how I originally wanted it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to go, now make sure opening is to left, right. On this one, the way I'm doing it. Okay. Yay. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Mom to create is an amazing. Oh, my other baby girl, Jordan. I was going to text you, everyone. Jordan is my daughter. Girl, what are you doing? You have not called mama in a long time. Jordan, you guys, Jordan's my daughter. She never comes on my lives. <laughs> um, oh, Erin, hi. So, Jordan, why haven't you called your mama in a long time, huh? What you doing? How's Tank? Jordan has a new puppy named Tank. He's a bulldog, and he's freaking adorable. Jordan, say hi to everybody. Bad girl, Jordan, call mommy. Hey, Jordan, beauty nerd creates is Jenny down in Florida. She's my adopted daughter. <laughs> so you two are sisters, okay? All right, so now I'm going to keep it simple. Again, you could put flaps, open it up. You got the pockets. You can do whatever you want. This album, I'm specifically just keeping it pretty clean and simple. Okay. So now I'm done with the full first page, right? Tank is a huge, has he grown a lot, Jordan? You need to bring him over to his grandmama, his Mimi. He's doing great. Good. Okay. So I'm going to flip this over. Jordan, I'm so happy you're here. You never join my stuff. Are you off today? Jordan is a hairstylist. She went to cosmetology school and she's 22. My baby girl's 22. All right. So now, okay. So remember when I was talking about when we did this spread, right? Inside of page one, front side of page two. Okay. Yeah. Well, when I flip this over, this is the back side of page two, front side of page three. Again, I like to kind of keep it, you know, matchy, matchy. Maybe she does silent. Maybe she's a troll. <laughs> you better not be a troll, Jordan. No, she's so dang busy. She doesn't have time to watch mama. But thanks for supporting my channel, honey. I need, you know, I need all the support I can get. All right. So again, let's use up these scraps that we got from making the base pages, right? So let me think. Again, I'm designing on the fly. I love you too, honey. I am designing on the fly. So please bear with me on my mind trying to come up with some interactions, okay, um, that I want to do. So let me just think out loud for a moment. A moment. Ooh, I, there's another idea I like to do. Okay. Here's what it's going to be. What did I say this was? Eight and a half. Okay, where's my trimmer? I'll show you. Let me show you and then I can explain it. It's easier that way. My desk is such a freaking mess. Yes, yes. I'm going to do kind of a side flippy thing. I'll show you, Janet. Great idea. Okay, so eight and a half. I'm not going to cut it straight down the middle. I'm going to do like five. Let me think. I got a half an inch up before. Yeah. Like this. Okay. I wanted two different sizes on perfect or on purpose, I think. <laughs> and let's see what I'm going to do. I call them kind of like little doors is I'm going to have one here. And then this one overlapping. So it's kind of like two flaps, like bada bing, bada bing, like that, you know? 
Um, or you could do it, you know, you can do it however you want to lay it out. Maybe I like it better that way with the bigger one here. And then you open up and here's another one. And they're perfect little spots to put pictures, you know. I know. I know. I know. Right, Jenny? Um, Jordan, um, are you going to call me later? Are you off work today? You didn't even answer my question. Okay. So we're going to score a half inch on, on either side of this. Okay. And notice, um, matching up, you'll, you'll be fine with making it six and a quarter. All right. <laughs> Barra bin, Barra bin. <laughs> You're so cute, Janet. <sighs> Oh, yes. I need to do that for you, too, because I have two. But, you know, everybody's busy, so you can't always, you know, you need more. So I need a wrench. <laughs> I need a wrench. There you go, Jenny. You're a wrench. And, yes, you can. All right. So let me score half inch. You should be a wrench now, Jenny. Type something. Let's see if it worked. Oh, there you go. Okay. I, I like half inches for the folds, but you guys, you can do a quarter inch if, if you prefer, you know, it's whatever you prefer. So I'm going to do half inch. It's what I typically do. And then again, I'm going to fold. And if any of you missed it earlier, I mentioned when you score, you get what we call a valley where it's indented. And when you on the other side, see it, we call that a mountain. Okay. And that's where it's bumped up. When you fold it, make sure you fold onto the mountain, the bumped up side and down. Reason why is you'll make your you'll make this stronger. If you do it the other way, it's breaking up fibers and it won't be quite as strong. Okay. So that is that, just in case you didn't know. And I don't know what you mean. Give me a coffee to me. A wrench. You want a wrench, Janet? I'll give you a wrench. <laughs> there you go. All right. So now I do like to, I don't always, sometimes I forget, but I still like to, um, good God. I still like to angle for bulk purposes. Like we were doing the only time I typically don't is you don't want it when you're making a waterfall. Okay. Well, no, you can be, I, I need moderators. Denise and Amy are also moderators. <laughs> if you don't want to be one, that's fine, but I'm good with it if you're good with it. Okay, so, oops, no, I did angle that. All right, so here's, you got to think on this for a minute on how you want to lay this down because, oops, where's my, I'm not even using the right, okay, that's page one. Oh, here it is. Okay, so page two. Page two, we flip over. All right. Right, page two, we flip over. <laughs> you need coffee. I'm playing just coffee. <laughs> You're so cute. All right, so I wanted the smaller one here, right? Now, be careful. I'm going to show you guys something because I've done it many times. So, you know, you're going to glue this right there, right? And then this, you know, you're going to put glue here. Look what happens. If you do that, this is glued down and you can't open this one. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm using Chasing Dreams um, by Maggie Holmes. Because we kind of did a boat on those. So on my last live. So that's what we're going to use for this one. Um, so don't do it that way. Do you see what I'm saying? You guys, you want to do it like this, where they're kind of glued together, like, oops, scooch in like this. So what you would do is you want to glue this one down first, and then this one you glue on top. And then that way, neither of them interfere with each other. I really hope that makes sense. So I'm going to glue this one down first. I'll show you. And I have messed this up many times, okay? So that's why I'm pointing it out because I've done it. I mean, yeah, it's fine. You can fix it. You can pull it off and, you know, typically fix it up. But if you can avoid that. So see, now this little clippy opens that way. 
And now I'm going to open it and I'm going to glue and I'm going to put this one down right here. That way it's not interfering. So always test it out to make sure you have it the right way. I've messed it up many times and that's why I'm saying that. Now, don't cover that score mark with this piece. Kind of go up a little bit, maybe a sixteenth of an inch, because you want room there. I don't, let's see. I don't know if you can see that. But see, I, I kind of went away from the score line about sixteenth of an inch, just to make sure there's room, okay? Oh, thanks, Janet. So now, there's our little flippy do, right? Flip, flip. Now let's put a magnet. And again, I didn't use, you know what I'm going to do? I didn't use the border punch. I'm okay with that. Just to change it up, I'm going to use just a simple um, corner rounder. Okay. Probably should have done that before I put it on here, but that's okay. We can still do it. Hi, Bonnie. Hey, is my daughter Jordan still on here? I just cannot believe she showed up on my live. You guys, she's never done that before. Okay, so see, it just gives it a little bit of a variety, you know, I think it looks cute. We're going to lay a magnet. If you did not want to do a magnet, okay, what you could do, well, there's lots of things. You could mat it. You could put Velcro. That'd be cute. You could do a swing tab and, oh, that's a little bit more work, which is totally cool, but we could maybe try one on a different page. But what it is, is like, you would, you would mat this, okay? You would punch a hole, you'd use a brad, you'd use like a chipboard piece or something and you'd put it in and you'd have to kind of tighten your brad underneath, which is easy to do, okay? Then, um, you know, you can flip it over like this, right? But you'd want to mat it first before you put that piece on, if that makes sense, right? So I'll do the magnet first, and then on a different one, a different page, we'll do a swing tab, just to show you the difference. Okay, so remember, what do I do first on my magnets? Do you guys remember? I'm literally really unorganized right now. Where's my tape? There it is. We pull two pieces of tape off. I'm making a mini album. So we do two pieces of tape, real simple here. To, it doesn't matter. They don't have to be like a specific size, just, you know, long enough to hold the magnet. And then we grab two magnets, okay? And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to magnetize this bigger one over. But if you're worried that it won't hold everything, you could always do a magnet here, you know, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do two sets of magnets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my magnet down right there. Just lay it there on that piece. Okay. Not too close to the border because then when you mat, you don't want this pulling out, you know, so a little bit down, put your first piece of tape over it to secure it. Okay. Like that. Then shiny side shiny side not you don't take the tape off shiny side non sticky put that face down and the sticky side up okay oops take your other magnet and literally just go boom and it finds where it's at okay then just get your fingers off the sticky part like that push it over push it down and there you go. Now you've got that magnet closure. See? Now this one, I'm going to put a little bit over here. So I'll do it really quick again. I'm going to have to do four sets because I'm going to do it on the other side too. But I may not bore you with that. I might skip the magnets and move on just so, you know, just because I think you get um, an idea. Hey, hi, East Coast Diva. How are you? Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. Okay, so gonna get another magnet. And I I what I do is like I'm looking at this spot, okay? But I don't want to put it where I don't like to put it where it's gonna cover something else up. So I want it to land about right there, but I want it to allow enough for the matting, right? 
So I kind of look with my finger and get like, okay, I have a general idea of where this is going to work. So I always kind of like try, uh, test it out first before putting the magnet on there. I think that makes sense. Okay. Now we're going to put this one down. There we go. Oops. Get your fingers on. It's kind of hard sometimes because it's sticky. All right. And then, oh, yeah. Pull that up because you don't want the tape to touch that. Oh, it shouldn't because I went further. Okay, good. So now you just push it down. There you go. So there's our other magnet. So now we did two sets. But again, I think you could have just done this one and it would have held it, but it's up to you, you know? Yes, I'm excited for Salsa Sunday, for real. Oh, thanks for the Mary Best MVP. Thanks, guys. Oh, I haven't put the announcement out, but it's next weekend is the drawing for that, my first one. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so that was the back of, remember, this page two that had the pocket? So the front of page three, because I'm being matchy-matchy on this album, I'm going to do the same thing. I won't do bore you with the magnet right now, but I'll get my pieces on there real quick um, just to get that done. But do you see, it kind of goes, you know, pretty quick. What I'm going to do instead of um, designing the rest of the, oh, wait, I do want to do one with the swing tab. And then after that, if we have time, I'd like to pull the chipboard cover um, because then you can see, you know, how I put that together. Maybe that would be helpful, you know. All right. So we're going to score a half inch, remember. I think this is going to be cute. I'm just tossing crap all over the place. Good God. I have to clean my, I'll probably clean while I'm watching Jenny because um, my craft room a little bit here and there, just because this is also my office because I work from home. So you guys, <laughs> I got to keep it every day. I only use like 10% for my office and 90% for my crafting. But yeah, I use it as it's my office too. I wanted my daughter to come over and help me. I think she left us. Didn't even say goodbye. She didn't even say goodbye. Oh, thanks, Janet. It is coming along, right? It, I mean, it's, you know, this type of album where it's, um, you know, pretty simple interactions, like not a lot, a lot of stuff. It will go by fast, and so you could easily do it on a Sunday or on the weekend, you know, which is kind of nice as a weekend project, right? Okay, so remember how we're doing this. We're going to glue this one down first, okay? So let's do that real quick. Oops. Oh, I have my paper the wrong way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. Okay, so that's the pocket. Oh, well, it's going to be going up. It doesn't matter. I'm good with it. So this goes this way. I'll make this one go down then. Sorry about that, but that's okay. I was going to do it on the side. It doesn't really matter. So let's put this one down first. I forgot to corner around, but I'll do that. God, maybe <laughs> we'll do that. No big deal. I know. I'm excited for her live. Oh, yay. Okay, Linda, have a great Sunday. Um, and then we're going to put this one like this, right? Because we want it to cover. Remember, allow about 1 16th of an inch just to give it the front one a little room to fold. Okay, so I'm going to line it up towards the bottom. And the score line, I'm parallel with the score line about one sixteenth of an inch. Just a little ways, whatever. Just a little room. Vamos, mama, mommy. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I love it. I want to learn Spanish. I want to learn Spanish. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Oops. Let me round this one. 
was that a half inch? Yeah. Okay. So now there's our two. So, you know, it's going to open this way and this way, which is cute because you could, you know, like I said, put a little picture or something like that. And then <laughs> I know, right. And then put this one down, this one down. So I think it turned out cute. So page two is completely done. Page one, page two. Now page three is halfway done. Flip it over. Right. And then this one. Now, what I may do is a quick waterfall on one side. I might do something slightly different on this side, which is okay. And then with my waterfall, um, let's see. I got to think where, where I want to do a swing tab. Let me think about a swing tab for just a second here. I want to I wanna do... Oh, I think I got an idea. See? It'll come to me. Um, let me show you. All right. Again, I'm using scraps, you know. Why not? Use them up. I want it to be... Okay, I'm just thinking for a quick second, okay? So remember our pages are six and a quarter. I want this to be... How am I going to do this? Yeah, six and a quarter, okay? So I'm going to cut off two and a quarter. I know the length, so I'm just... Because my trimmer is short. So this is six and a quarter, okay? I'm going to do another one. Let's see what's... I want six and a quarter also. Or do I want it to be small? No, I'll do six and a quarter. That's fine. Oops. I love this little trimmer, you guys. I really do. I mean, I like my Fiskars, my bigger one, but, you know, I really like this one too. Let's do one more. I'll show you what, I'll show you what I'm doing. It's going to come together. I'll show you in just a second here. And this is a good one to use a swing tab with. So Janet, I'll do I'll do a swing tab. Oh, couldn't agree more, East Coast Diva. Totally. All right. So now, scoreboard. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take each one of these where it's the shorter length. What is that? Like four and three quarters at the top. And we're going to, you guessed it, score it a half inch, right? So let me show you. Half inch there on all three pieces. You could have done these different sizes. It doesn't matter because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And then you can figure out, you know, hey, one thing I was going to say, if you've never made any mini album, first of all, I do have a beginner mini album tutorial. It was from last winter. I'll try to remember to go back in and link it because it goes like totally step by step. It's a good uh, tutorial. But also I wanted to say, once you start doing these like little interactions like we're doing right now, believe me, you will fly your, your little wings will fly and you'll start creating all kinds of cool interactions, right? Once you get the hang of it, you'll just go, 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 go. And it's a lot of fun. So don't ever be intimidated by it. Okay. So how these pieces are going to work is I'm going to connect them together like a trifold. See, so it's going to open this way. And then it'll open, this will be connected this way, and then it'll all open this way. So I'll show you. Let's get them connected, and I'll show you. I still like to cut my, to reduce bulk, I still like to cut the little angles from the bottom to the top of the score line. So let's get that done. Yeah, Jenny, for real. Like, And then all of a sudden, you're like doing all kinds of different <laughs> Oh, let's do this crazy thing. Let's do this. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Right, East Coast Dude. Let's get this bodice started. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be pretty soon for her. I'm glad I was able to go live today because I haven't been for a while. And glad that it's at a different time, too, because I really want to be on Jenny's live. All right, so I'm going to glue this second piece, right? I'm going to put glue on the inside of the, um, you know, little flappy thing. Here's my first flappy thing, and I'm going to glue it right like that, okay? 
So I'll show you. I think you guys get it because you're just basically making like a little trifold. Oh my God, my cap's on. See, geez, Louise. I am a mess. Um, okay, so I'm just going to lay this piece in. Don't go right, again, don't go totally up to that score line. I got to go like this. Um, because you you really want a little room for it to be able to fold nicely, if that makes sense. Kind of like we did with that last page. Just leave a little bit before the score line, okay? So now we've got, and you could just stop here. Like this will go in the side. And now you've got where it opens up this way and then it'll open up that way, okay? But I'm gonna do um, three because I think three will be fun, right? So I wanna do it here. So it's like that. I'm gonna glue it here to where the inside glues right there, okay? But play around with it. I mean, you can make flippy flappies all different kinds of ways. I hope I'm centered there. All right. Easy peasy. Hey, Michelle. Okay. So now, like I said, this will be glued in here. And look, it'll go both ways. It'll be nice. Lots of room for journaling, pictures, whatever, right? Um, but what I'm going to do also, since this will be like the cover front part of it, I am going to use my border punch just on that, that little piece. And then I'm going to show you the swing tab method instead of magnet, okay? So that you can get the idea of how that works. I got to be honest, though, I'm not like the best at swing tabs, but I can do them. So I really should do more of them just to get the practice, you know? So this will be good. So if I mess up, just bear with me. <laughs> Bada bing, bada bing. I know what is wrong with me. Okay, so see, look where we're at. So now you can glue this two different ways. This is the side that's going to go on the hinge, right? Yeah, right there. So you could put glue on the inside of your little bendy part and glue it on the top part of that inside. Or you can glue on the back side and just glue it right on top here. I'm going to put mine on the inside. I think it's a little cleaner when you can do that, but you don't have to. So basically what I do is I have that piece and I need to glue it on the inside of where the hinge is going to go. Actually, I set that up wrong. You slide it in there. Again, leave some room with your score line. Don't go right totally up against it. Just a little bit of space. Try to get it as equal as you can before you burnish that all the way down. And there you go. For Janet. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Tasha, hi. Okay, so see, it's fun. It opens up that way and it opens up this way. Gives you a lot of room, right? So now I could do magnets, right? But today we're going to do a little swing tab. I think that will be fun. Hey, Dana. <laughs> Janet, I know. All right. I got to think for a hot minute on the swing tab. So... I'm going to put it here. It's going to swing to hold it, right? And I need to mat this piece first before I put a swing tab on, okay? So let me pull my paper and let's mat it. That'll be fun. Let me wipe this glue up a little bit. Okay, so first things first, I got to pick a piece of paper, but 
all this paper is gorgeous, so it really doesn't matter. Um, oh, another tip, at least for how I do it. Um, oh, thanks, Bonnie. Um, is, uh, okay, if you know that, like, on this piece where we're going to mat it, that you want to do a lot of embellishing, let's say, I like to find a pattern that's more, like, just simple, you know? But if it's going to be a piece where maybe, you know, you won't be doing a ton of embellishment, then, you know, maybe go with something a little bit more, you know? That's just my thought process on it. Um, and I'm probably not going to do a ton of embellishment because I have this on top. You see what I'm saying? And I'll probably embellish this piece more. So I'm going to go with a pattern like something like that. So I'm just looking through and um, trying to see what I would like. You know, I love this girl, but she may go on the cover. I don't know yet. Um, usually I do try to pick the cover out so I don't use it. <laughs> That's really pretty. The butterflies, gorgeous. Love that. Yeah. And now I'm repeating a little bit here. Mm, I'm having a hard time. I'm sorry. Does it ever take you guys this long? I mean, really. <laughs> I'm going to be matting a lot. <laughs> Michelle, I'm making a little mini album. I think it's either that one or honestly, I really, 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 really like this bold one. And I think I'm going to go with it because I can dress it up with some of these colors on those other pages. So that is what I'm going to go with. Now, what's nice about this album, the size that we chose, your matting is six by six. So you are very efficient on your um 12 by 12s okay that is what i love about a six by six i know janet is so hard sometimes right and the other thing when it's a square you don't have to worry about direction it doesn't matter because it's a square when you cut it you know oh that's awesome that is awesome he's costiva Anyone find the Halloween good? Oh, no. But I want to watch your video because I saw I'm behind. But I saw that you posted that you found it, right? Yeah, I know. I got to get to that point. I'm going to get to that point soon with the Halloween crazy. The fall. Oh, the fall is my favorite, favorite. I'm starting to get my, um, like, home decor fall decorations out. And here soon and we are i'm excited it's our favorite um time of the year now i want to point another thing out if you want to ink the edges which is so pretty it kind of you know finishes it you would do that now okay before you mat it i just want to point that out i am okay not doing it i really love this white border i think it's okay but i just want to point that out that's when you would do it okay oh i know laura <laughs> oh mom to create listen to this and you know i have a tuesday morning close to me i have like three of them you guys the last time this is kind of freaky i went to tuesday morning may 16th okay that's three months ago and my son got in his terrible horrific motorcycle accident may 19th three days later and i haven't got i haven't shopped at all since then and I went through everything with my son, you know, and thank God he's good and doing really good. But I also kind of, you know, I just have a lot right now that I want to use and I want to give away and I may do some de-stashes. And then after all that, I may go, you know, shopping again, but I don't need to go every week anymore because I was doing that. And well, not, I went twice a month. I went like every time I got paid and it just, it just was being, it was getting to be too much. You know what I mean? But I love the hauls. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's cool to find out what people are making. So I'm going to glue this down again. You can use any type of adhesive that you prefer. A little tape runner, double side tape, you know, whatever. I just like the glue because I need the hot minute to 
well, a few seconds, whatever, to make sure it's straight. Oh, Janet. How old is your son, Janet? Do you mind if I ask? You're so young, so he's probably little. I hope he's okay. I really do. I will pray for him. Definitely for Janet's son. I know, Bertha, I do too. Um, oh, he's a teenager. Oh, is he a senior or going into his senior year? Probably. Oh, poor baby. I hope he's doing okay, Janet. Okay, so we got this matted. Now let's think about the swing tap. And the way the swing tap is going to work is it's going to be a punched hole through here. And then we're going to apply it in there and it's going to swing. Okay, so I got to come up with a chipboard piece. <laughs> this is where I keep all my chipboard pieces. Oh, I know, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, good, Janet. Um, I know, Bonnie. And again, I will go at some point. But I got to tell you, I mean... I just can't justify spending the money right now because I have too much. <laughs> like I bought a lot of Christmas last year, you guys, because I didn't have much Christmas, but now I have plenty. So I just don't need to. And it's hard because new collections come out, but you know what? I don't need every new collection. I, I guess when Zach got so injured, a lot of things in my head just kind of changed for me a little bit. I don't, I know that sounds weird, but anyway, I just, yeah. <laughs> Well, you should. Tasha, you need to because I don't do it anymore. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a little chipboard piece, okay? Oh, no, my felt. My felt fell. Okay, so I just have one of these. And you guys, this is where, look, I keep... I'm telling you, I know it's crazy, but I do keep little, all the scraps. And I mean, if it's super small, I won't. But it's because of this reason. You can use it to make swing tabs. You can use it to back like a cut apart on. And it's like a chipboard piece and things like that. So I do keep a lot of my chipboards. So I'm just kind of looking for a smaller size to use. I don't know what that is. That's just a ticket or thing um, to use for the swing tab really quick. And let's see, let me just set this. I mean, I could cut that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, I tried, but my signal was poopy. Oh, yeah, that's hard. I know, Jenny. Oh, I know, Dana. If you do going to sell, let me know. MB, I just learned. Oh, girl, we can be PayPal friends. <laughs> Yeah, I will for sure. I mean, I'll go again soon. I just, I haven't in three months, which is like the longest for me. It does, Chrissy. It just does, you know. Okay, so here we go. Um, so I'm going to, now you can do whatever length you want, you know, like that long. I am going to go a little bit shorter, okay? So I am going to cut just a little bit off here. Um, so let me get my, we'll use this little trimmer. So, I mean, I really should be measuring some things. I haven't measured at all, have I? Measure. <laughs> so I think I want it to, like, start there and end out right there. Okay, so I'm going to do like, um, it would help if I have my ruler straight. I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, two and three quarters. I, it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of what you think looks good. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, East Coast Steva. You don't have a cheese in here, but I'm afraid that I, oh, I know, right, Bonnie? Oh, yeah, girl, tell me. <laughs> It does. I oh believe me, I've been in big trouble too. So yeah. Okay. There we go. This is why I like this blade. You can just cut that chipboard if it's small enough. Okay, so see, we've got part of it right here. That's gonna be the sturdy part. 
That's why I like to use, um, okay, Janet, the chipboard. So what I'm going to do is I do want to use this. I think that'll look lovely because I'll have a different design over here. You know what I mean? So I just, and I want to cover this thing completely because it's chipboard, right? So what I will do, what was that? Two and three quarters. And it's by one inch. All right. We can do that. So two and three quarters. We'll cut a couple strips at one inch. There's one. There's two. All right. So what I'm going to do. Whole, whole. Okay. Now, I do want to mention this, and I don't want it to get too confusing. So I may not do this. But sometimes when I do a swing tab, it's definitely going to hold with just the swing tab. But sometimes I magnetize my swing tab. And so I do put a magnet under here and a magnet here. So I'm going to do that but you don't have to, okay? I just want to make sure you know that you don't have to. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to glue um, the top piece of paper on here. Like so. I mean, you really don't have to cover the bottom just because you won't see it really. Um, but I'll put a little piece on there. It doesn't matter. All right. And then what I'm going to do, so this is going to be the top. I'll do it like this. Okay. Do, do. But I'm going to put a magnet here and a magnet here. Okay. So what I need is two pieces of tape. This way your, your swing tab will be magnetized. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, Tasha. It's ugly. But I bet it's really good. And it's self-sharpening, right, Jenny? Yeah. I love it. I love, love, love it, love it, love it. Oh, yeah, Deborah, it's Chasing Dreams. Isn't it cute? I should have probably cut smaller, but that's okay. We can make this work. All right. So I'm going to put, let me figure it out because I don't want to be right on that border. So, oh, yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. So I'm going to put a magnet right there. Okay. And remember what I do, sticky side up, and we'll drop a magnet. I do too. I wish it was a 12 by 12. Exactly, right, Bonnie? <laughs> but yeah, I wish it were a 12 by 12 too. I think Tim Holtz has a 12 by 12. Tasha, is that what yours is? Or do you have the smaller one? I think he does make one like that. I don't know. What is my problem? Here we go. All right. Give me a second. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. My fingers. See, I get like, there we go. Fumbly with my own fingers. Okay. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to have my swing tab right here. Okay. And I want my magnet. Ooh, I do need to cut this tape. I don't want to close that shut. So let me just cut this piece of tape smaller. No big deal there. All right. Now I want, I don't want to get too close to this border. So I'm going to go about right there. There you go. There's my magnet. See? Oh, I didn't go down. It's probably because I, sorry guys. I don't think I had enough tape on there. Let me try it again. It can be finicky, so let me do it this way. Just make sure I have enough room between. It's hard pressing it through chipboard, you know, versus paper. You have the smaller one, you love it, yeah. The Coptic book. Oh, no, I don't have that. I know what you're talking about. Okay, we got it now. All right, perfect. And then really, really just kind of 
burnish those down. It was a little bit hard because we're pushing through chipboard, you know, versus paper. So, but we got it. Okay, so here's where we're at. Now, you do not have to do the whole magnet piece. I just wanted to show you that you can. So now all I have to do is punch a hole here, punch a hole here, and put a brad in, and then it'll be done. And you've got your swing tab, okay? You could round those corners, which I might. Oh, I never did put the, sorry. You can put the paper on the back if you want. I don't know that you would see it at all, but it does finish it just in case you want it, you know? So, well, Jesus. So we will. <laughs> You're going to do a tool stash video? Is that what you said, Jenny? Oh, right, Tasha. Yeah, I wanted to try that too. I've, I have watched some videos. It's pretty cool. I would love to learn that type of binding. Now, because this is chipboard, I may ink this edge a little bit. I don't know yet. I probably should. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, hold on, guys. Let me look and see. Where my little, where's my little dauber? Probably where it's supposed to be, and that's why I can't find the dang thing. Oi, 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 bay. What the heck? Let me grab a dauber really quick. I think I put it, oh. There's my sponge. I, I don't know what I do with my dauber. I guess I don't, you know what? I'm not even messing. I'm not going to mess around. Here's what we're going to do. You don't need a dauber. Who needs a stinking dauber? Just go like this. I just don't know what I did with it. But that's okay. I'm only doing this just because it was chipboard. I just wanted to kind of cover up the chipboard. That's all. So just to give it, you know, a cleaner look. Okay. I kind of wish I rounded... Where's the magnet? Okay, there it is. I kind of, oh, that's okay. It's going to be matted. That ink wasn't dry. I kind of wish I'm rounded, but I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'll be okay. Now I need to get a pokey tool or my little thingamajigger. All right, I'm going to do the small one eighth. Is one eighth, yeah. And let me see. Is this dry? Not quite. Let me see where I want it. So see what I'm doing? I'm, I am I have it magnetized. Again, if you don't magnetize it, just hold it up. And I'm kind of seeing where I want to put a hole because I'm going to put a, a brad there to hold it. Um, I'm going to put a hole in the page, not all the way through, but at least for the first part and the hole in the chipboard, put the brad in, and then we have our swing tab done. Does that make sense? Buttons. Of the, oh, I know. It's so pretty, isn't it? Oh, I know, Bonnie. <laughs> yes, those makeup brushes. I've been seeing a lot of people using them. Um, yeah, I should probably get those because I heard they're really good. Um, I got ink all over this. Good thing I'm going to mat it. All right, so I'm going to put my, where's my pencil? I'm going to put my little hole like right here. I just want to mark it. And then I'm going to, which one again? One eighth. There we go. I'm going to mark it. You can use any little hole punch thingamajigger. Okay, pink, green. There we go. I don't even know if I'm on it. Okay, so I got my little hole. And then what I have to do is mark underneath, right? Oh, God, I didn't do very good. And my thing won't fit all the way through. So what I have to do is I'm going to have to see. I don't even know if this will fit. And if not, I just have to be super careful. Where's the opening of my... Hold on. Where's my opening? Here it is. Um, I'll just have to be careful. I don't think this is going to fit. But it'll fit corner-wise enough. Do you see what I'm doing? So that I can poke. 
and only hit this thing underneath. I hope that makes sense. Does that make sense, Harry? Hi, Angela. Okay, so that way, so I didn't have to put this whole thing in, just enough to make my little hole. All right, we got it, see? And that way we didn't go through both sides because we don't really want to. Okay, we're good. Now it's just a matter of putting a brad in, um, <laughs> which of course I don't have handy, but you would just put your brad in and you do have to go, it's not far inside, let me show you. This hole is right there, okay? So when you put that brad in, you just flip it over and open up the brad and maybe put a piece of tape or something just as security, and there you go. It'll be hooked through the brad. It opens like that, and when it shuts, we did magnetize it, right, just to make it more stronger. Does that make sense to everybody? So I hope that makes sense, and I hope that that was helpful, but that's why we did not, for me, did not map this side first, or yeah, before, because I knew I was going to put a magnet. That's the only reason I didn't do that. But you want to map this first because you poke that hole and everything. So you, you really want to do that. I hope that makes sense. Okay, Tasha. Thank you. I hope you have a great day too. Oh, thanks, Jenny. Hi, Janice. Okay. I, I got to find a Brad, which I got to go over to my Brad's and stuff. So I'm going to leave it like this. But I think you guys get, right? That's the last step. It's not hard. I'll just put that Brad in there. Um. Your son bought a house. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Dana. Oh, good, Chrissy. I'm glad it was helpful. Like I said, you guys, I have not done a lot of swing tabs. So that's why I'm a little, mm -mm, you know, not the best at it. But I think if I practice more, it would help. So this page is pretty much done because once we open this, we have do, 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 right? And this was the back side of page three. So then with page four, I mean, my God, we're almost done. I think what I want to do on this side is a cute waterfall. Okay. And I think, I'm trying to think, do I want my waterfall to go horizontal or do I want it to go up or do I want it to go down? Um, but while I'm thinking about that, let me clear a few things out and so we have a little bit of room. I mean, disastrous. I am going to use one of these for my waterfall. Hey, Lady J Crafty, how's it going? I'm going to put this trimmer away because I think I'm done with it for a little bit. All right. Ruler. Sorry, I just, I've got a hot mess going on, so I just want to kind of clear a few things out while I can. I mean, look at all this. <laughs> it's how it gets, you know, when you're crafting. You can't help it. My desk, like I have my die cutting machine over here and some other crap that I have to go through. So I feel like I'm just like, <laughs> don't have enough room. Oh my goodness. Okay. Again, move this out of the way. Mary All right. So the size, that's the first thing you want to figure out with your waterfall. So let me grab that ruler again. Okay. So I know it's six and a quarter, right? And I like to do a six by four um, because then you can put a four by six picture. So I have to allow room for matting and everything to do that. So since it's six and a quarter, I really can't go wider. <laughs> so it will be, I'm going to just do six. They would have to crop the picture, but I think that's okay. So I'm going to do six by four and a half because a half inch will be the fold, you know, when it goes up like that. So we're going to do six and a quarter by four and a half. And again, I like odd numbers. So a lot of times I'll do five or seven, you know. Uh-oh. Oh, I cut that wrong. <laughs> All right, let's get a different piece. This one, I may, I'm almost out of my straps. I am happy that I used 
See, we used a lot of those scraps, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, so let's cut this at four and a half. Yeah, four and a half. And then let's cut this at six. See, and then what will happen is we will put it on the top. We're going to score and fold a half inch, and then we're going to make five of these, and it'll be a waterfall. And then, just so you know what my next step would be, is I will score down here and adhere this and magnetize this, and this will be the closure. And then when you open it up, you can use your waterfall. Does that make sense? So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, so we need to do by six. We'll just do it this way. I don't think I'll get four and a half though twice. I should have done the math. Kind of talking to myself. For me. <laughs> There's another one. This one is only four. Okay, that's fine. So waterfalls do take a few pieces of paper, but they're worth it. I think they're fun too because you can journal and put pictures in it, you know. Mary Beth, you, don't you ever get a block? Oh, Dana. <laughs> yes, I do. Girl, listen, I do. Trust me. And honestly, this mini album, I'm telling you, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of flying with it, right? That's why it's not like super duper creative, but I think it'll be cute. But oh, I do. Trust me. I really do. So I think it happens to all of us, you know. Um, now, even though I'll have scraps from these eight and a half by 11, again, we can use those for other pieces, right? Because like this one's not going to work out and that one, but we can use it for like one of the other pages. You know what I mean? So totally cool there. How many do I have? One, two, three. I've got four. I just want like one. Oh, here's some paper. I just wanted like one more. At least to start with. I might do seven. I haven't really decided. Um, four and a half. We're going to see how five looks. And then we can determine if we want six or seven of them or whatever. It doesn't even matter. It's just whatever you like. Whatever looks good, you know. Okay, and then, oh, remember, I don't know if you heard me say this before. So the only time I don't, after I score, I'll show you. Let me explain this really quick. This is important because I've messed this up before too. So when I'm going to score at a half an inch so that when your paper is at four and a half at the top, and then that way, I'll show you, I'm going to fold over and burnish. And when you put it on your page, it'll go this way because we will glue that piece down so that it'll flip up. Here's what I wanted to say. Typically, I will cut at an angle and reduce bulk. I don't do that on waterfalls. And the reason why is because you can, you know, it'll look, to me, it looks a little funny because you can see those pieces. So that's the only time I don't do that is um, when I'm making waterfalls. I do not angle those those pages or those pieces but I mean it's not bad if you do I'm just saying I prefer not to and I gotta be honest with you waterfalls are kind of hard for me because sometimes I feel like they get crooked or they don't line up perfectly so I'm always trying always trying to kind of readjust them a little bit and the reason why I think that happens is because honestly I mean, we cut on our trimmer, but that doesn't mean it's always perfectly the exact same. It might be slightly off, you know. So sometimes I have to adjust a little bit when I'm actually doing the waterfall. I'm sure you guys have done waterfalls or most of you probably, but they're fun. I think they're they're really nice to add to a flip book or a mini album or something, you know. I'm so behind. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, really? East Coast Diva? Yeah, the but where are you at? East Coast, obviously. <laughs> but the bugs, right? Oh, yeah, Dana, right? That'll get your mojo back. My mojo was gone, too. I think a lot of us kind of went through that recently. I don't know if it's the summer. I just had a lot of family stuff going on. And it just, yeah, it just, yeah. People have life, you know. Oh, they don't let you focus. Okay. All right, so where's our page? Okay, and I want to make sure this is my opening. Yeah, so I'm going to put my opening this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my waterfall and then flip it this way. It's just easier for me to glue down facing this way, you know. I don't want to lose my, my little swing tab. So, <clears throat> again, I use glue because I have to have that few seconds to maneuver. So, I mean, you guys have done this, right? So we just, you know, just lay it down, flush at the top, center it or whatever, and then burnish. This is where it can get a little more challenging for me if it's not completely equal. So what I'll do before I put glue is I'll do this because that's flush. Oh, my God, I've got ink on me. And then I'll push this down and make sure they're even on the sides and even on the bottom. And I notice it's not. See? So this is where I have to adjust where I scored, you know, and kind of get it to be more equal. Because otherwise it'll drive me nuts if it's not. Do you see what I'm saying? God, I hate that. Yeah, that sucks. So I'm going to do the best I can. It may not be completely perfect. I'm sorry, you guys. I had to turn my light on because I'm using natural light, and which I know is best for you guys. But why is it not working? Oh, did I turn it on, Mary But um, it doesn't. I got it. it it's hard for me to see. Let me do this one. I hope that's okay for a minute. And maybe you can see what I'm talking about better. Like if I just bump these um, folds and the score line together, it's not completely equal. I hate that. Do you guys ever have that happen? Okay. I think I got it. Okay. So when I put my glue on, And then I like, this is another reason why I like to use glue. I'm going to maneuver to make sure I'm as even as I can possibly be. So before I push down hard on it, I'm going to put this one back over and I'm going to adjust and just make sure we're lined up as best as I can be. And that's how I have to do it. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Hey, I want to show you something, Janet, real quick. Let me just uh, burnish this. And I keep getting ink all over from my hands. Luckily, we'll be matting this, right? Um, the swing tab, which you can watch if you want on the replay, but I magnetize it and then punch a little hole. And then underneath, I mark where that hole is with a pencil. And then I just go in because I don't want it to go through both sides. I use a pokey tool and that's all I do. And then um, the only other step is you would just put a brad and that's it. So it's really not hard, but just so you know. Okay. Now this one is the next one. Again, I'm going to try my hardest to get it lined up. Oh, I got Watch the glue girl. Let's see, before I totally burnish down, it's this side that's a little off. I hate that. That's okay. We will make it work. 
Ay. Okay. I'm doing the best. Uh, this is what I'm saying. You guys, I struggle with waterfalls. I don't know. <laughs> Does anybody else please make me feel better? Because I think they're kind of hard. I just have a hard time getting them even. I mean, the concept's not hard, you know? I don't know what it is. Sometimes I don't have as hard a time. This time it's, I'm really struggling right now. It's just, I don't know what happened where it's just not, it's not even even centered really. I mean, it kind of is, but I'm really bothered by it. I don't know if this page is going to make it in the book. We're going to see what we can do. <laughs> I do like to fix as much as I can. Thank God for Janet giving me that tip you guys earlier. She, I thought I screwed up a pocket and she totally talked me through how to not screw it up anymore. So we got that fix in place. Okay. Finish this one up. Now, I think what I'm going to do, because we've done quite a bit on this live, is I am going to continue to work on this today. I'm going to watch Jenny's live you know, watch some YouTube and stuff. Um, and of course I'm going to show everybody when I'm done, but okay. So this is the waterfall. Oh, wait, I'll do this really quick. I'm going to do a closure. So I'm going to score. I'm going to cut this down just slightly. Again, I always score a half inch. This one I'm going to score three quarters of an inch. So it's a little bit more sturdy underneath. But it doesn't matter really on that. Go like this. And then what I do on the waterfall is I pull the waterfall up. And I, see, it's not straight. I'm going to have to try to fix that. And then I glue this little piece down in the center. I'll show you. Like try to center it as best you can. You can measure it. Yes, she is. Yeah, Jenny, thank you, because <laughs> I need to practice. Okay, and then when it closes, there you go. And I'll put a magnet like we've done before. And that way, you have a closure that's super simple. You could do a little cute decorative punch, corner round. I'll probably corner round maybe my pages. I don't know yet. But yeah. There you go. And so the only pages I have left, oh my God, I got to wash my hands because I have that ink on me, um, is I have the back of four and then I just have page five front and back. Okay. So, and then the interactions will be done. All right. So, um, what box, Elizabeth, what did you do? Um, so what I was going to say is I cut, remember the chipboard at six and a half by six and a half. So it's a half inch bigger. I need to make the spine. I'm sorry, six and three quarters by six and three quarters. So the spine is going to be six and three quarters. And I think what I'm going to do is my normal two and three quarter inch spine. Okay. Cause that'll leave enough room for embellishments and everything. So I will get the spine together, but, um, Jenny is going live later. I guess in what, like three hours, Jenny, 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Um, so I may or may not be able to, you know, show you on camera on this, but I do, I will link that mini album I'm talking about that was a beginner friendly one. After this video auto uploads, I'll have to go back in and link it. And then that way, if you want like a solid step-by-step -step that was recorded, that's a really good one to follow. It was called Snow and Cocoa. It was last winter. Um, and so, yeah, I'll link that for you in case, you know. You're in Walmart. Okay. Okay, Elizabeth. Yo, nada, mami, nada, nada, nada. Shush, ha, ha. <laughs> I wish I could speak Spanish. Um, cut the paper larger with wise score and glue together then trim oh lord thank you i may have to pull these off and try that thank you so much i'm gonna try that i just struggle with it sometimes 
Uh, Lauren, she's going live at 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm Central, so 5 p.m. Central. Sure, Michelle. And I'll try to, I'm in kind of, a, I need to get this done. So if I can later tonight, I might go live again. We'll, we'll have to see. But I will link that other one, and that's a really good one to follow, just in case I can. Yeah, enjoy Wally World. All right, girls. Thank you so much for joining me on both my lives. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, we will talk to probably a lot of you on Jenny's live. And I don't speak Spanish, but I think Janet was saying there's a way um, on YouTube where you could do like a translator thing. So I'm going to try to do that. But regardless, which will be good help for me because I want to learn Spanish. <laughs> So, Jenny, have fun on your live, and we'll talk to you later. And thank you, everyone, for spending some time with me today. It was so much fun. Bye, everyone.